Afternoon, a historic Massachusetts vineyard destroyed. Quick moving flames tore through the winery in Charlton. Our Susie Steimel is live there this afternoon with more on how this turned into a very difficult fight for firefighters. Good afternoon, Susie. Good afternoon, Chris. The cause of the fire itself still remains under investigation, but this is a historic property dating back to the 1700s, which makes a lot of these losses irreplaceable. At the Charlton Orchards Farm and Winery, the growth process and lifestyle are slow and methodical, which made it all the more jarring to watch their life's work disappear in a flash. I watched it go from room to room. I watched it burn the uh, storage and I listened to all the glass bursting. The last thing to go was my office. All of a sudden, all the windows popped and the whole structure just fell into itself. And I saw a reflection of orange on my walls. Nathan Benjamin's daughters took this video. They saw the fire moving toward their grandmother's house around 1030 Sunday night. Luckily everyone made it out okay, but the winery itself is a total loss. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. The remote location and lack of access to water kept the fire burning for several hours. Alcohol acted as an accelerant. So when this burned, the only thing we have is about 14 bottles of everything we've ever done left. It's all gone. Benjamin remains mystified as to why the fire department didn't use the pond nearby as a source of water. He believes that could have saved the business he spent a lifetime building. I, I, I can't tell you. It's like losing a friend. The label of this winemaker was Obadiah McIntyre. It made 20 different types of wine. 17 were award-winning, and as you heard the owner just say, all they have left now of their life's work is 14 bottles. Live in Charlton, Susie Steimel, WBZ News.